you had talked uh, a week ago just about kind of the mood and how you know after a loss everyone's on you know, after a win everybody's for you mm -hmm. what's the spectrum of emotions been like from last week's blowout to now you know an exciting overtime victory it's business as usual i mean it doesn't change for us in, in, inside our walls i mean we have a, a set routine of what we do from the time the game's over till the time we play the next game and we can't be like this as a staff we have to prepare the same way regardless to the outcome of the game and make sure we give our guys the best chance we can uh, to be successful. That's, that's our plan. So your last two wins have come right down to the wire. I mean, how do you think your team is handling these pressure-packed situations? I think the next seven games are going to be exactly the same. I mean, we're going to be in tight battles, three minutes left in the game, two minutes left. And uh, it was great to see us be able to handle that situation. I mean, that game was crazy the last three minutes of that football game. And, you know, we stop them, we get it back. I really feel good about our two-minute situation that we always work every Wednesday, that, I, that we're going to go down and be able to kick a field goal. All of a sudden, we get a deflected pass. It's picked off, and now you've got to play defense at midfield. Uh, they make a couple first downs and get themselves in the field goal position, and uh, we come up with a big stop there. It was great effort on that field goal block unit by the field goal block unit that they missed. Great effort. and. Uh, and then you go, back, you go down, you make a couple big runs with Richie, and then you kick it in overtime. But I think that's go the way it's going to be. I mean, I just really do. And we got to handle all those situations and stay calm and be able to close the game. This week's homecoming, I know you typically say yeah, every week, you know, nothing changes, but is there any added significance with it being homecoming? Well, you get all your, your alum back, and it's always good to see those people. Uh, they're, they're fired up to see the team maybe for the first time this year in person. Um, so that's, that's an excitement for them, and obviously there's a lot more energy in homecoming games than typical games for whatever reason. That's everywhere in the country, not just our place, obviously. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it certainly has a, uh, an added meaning to it, it being home, homecoming. Just studying their ends, it's a little bit different creature than it was last week, you know, with 91 and 6. But they're good players, really good players, but different types of players. Um, but we have to make sure we start, we start with one running the football, being able to run the, run the ball, but also being able to protect the passer. I've been able to play them since 2004, and they haven't changed. Uh, they're really, really sound. Um, they got a really good offense. The offensive line is really good, I think. Blocking uh, the zone, the, the lead zone, the split zone. They're doing a good job more so this year running power. Um, they don't turn it over. Uh, and then they play their, their shell defense. They play their two-cover shell defense, and uh, everybody knows where, where they're supposed to be. And that's why they're so consistent. 